Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Amy's Crypt and welcome back to Chillingham Castle. If you haven't done so already, check out my part one video, which I've linked below. But get ready because we're going to be checking out the most haunted places in Chillingham Castle and investigating them tonight. Guys, I'm currently in the torture chamber of Chillingham Castle. I'm going to do a quick spirit box session and see if we pick up on anything here. I figured right next to the rack is a good place to do that. It's not working. Okay, turn around. Let me get my other batteries out. All right, tank two. For some reason, my batteries were just drained then. I've just put some fresh ones in and we'll see how we go. Can you come closer and say something to me? Did you die here? What is your name? What brought you to Chillingham Castle? Are you stuck or trapped here? So I didn't actually pick up any voices on this, but this device is acting weird, like I haven't seen it before. Its batteries just drained, so it was completely flat. I put new ones in and then it just sounded really funny. I'm currently sitting in King Edward's room of Chillingham Castle and I'm going to try a spirit box in here. Hello, my name is Amy. Is there anyone in this room with me? Why are you in this room? Can you come close and say something to me? Amy? Did this say Amy? I heard something. I'm not sure what it was though. Why, why do you hang out in this room? Why do you hurt people? Why why were you at Chillingham Castle? I keep hearing Amy. Can you give me a sign to let me know that you're here? Oh, it's a Oh, I can see him. Yeah. Yeah. Hello,
currently sitting in Chillingham Castle's chapel. It's one of the most haunted places in the building. I'm going to do a spirit box session and see if I can reach out to the resident ghost who is a little girl in this room. Hi, my name is Amy. Is there any spirits in this room that want to talk with me? I'm hoping to talk to a little girl that hangs around this area. Can you come close and say something to me? I don't mean you any harm. Can I say we're here or something? Oh, don't worry. It's a loud creak coming from up there as well. I think that's people upstairs. Might be. Did you die in the area I'm sitting? Judged. Were you judged? Who are you? Can you tell me your name? Are you happy here? Alright guys, so I'm currently in what is known as the still room. So a couple of ghost stories to go with this one and one of the most famous is known as the pantry ghost. So the story goes that uh, apparently a soldier was hanging out in here, or a guard I should say. He was in here because they used to keep a lot of valuables, silver and such locked up in here. Now he was completely locked up alone inside the room and he seen an older woman who looked really frail and weak and uh, she asked him for some water. So he turned around to, you know, go get her some water, but then realized, hey, I'm locked up here alone. And it's actually thought that this woman uh, was poisoned by somebody in the castle. And that's why she's looking for water. This place is also where a Spanish witch is uh, thought to dwell. Now her deal is that apparently she cursed the castle so that anyone that takes any items from it will be plagued with bad luck. And just uh, behind me here, there's actually a whole bunch of items that have been sent back with letters. So that's quite creepy and strange, but probably the creepiest thing about this room is that it leads into the dungeon. So just behind me here is the entry doorway to the dungeon, which of course we'll go in in a little bit. Um, but Supposedly that was blocked off um, at one point. It was kind of a way to try and forget about the dark history of the castle and the terrible things that had gone on here. Um, but it's been uncovered and it's accessible. Um, so I think that we'll go in there and see if we can communicate with anything. I am currently sitting in the still room uh, where it is haunted, it's supposed to be haunted by the pantry ghost and the Spanish witch. I'm going to try and reach out and do a quick EVP session. Hello, my name is Amy. Are there any spirits in this room that wish to communicate? Who was it that poisoned you? I didn't receive much luck on the EVP, so we will try a spirit box. Hello, my name is Amy. Is there anyone in this room that wants to communicate? Were you hurt here? Can you come close and say something to me? We're not getting a lot of activity in here, so we might move into the dungeon area. All right guys, it's 
quite late, it's after midnight, we're going to head into the dungeon and um, see if we can pick up on anything in there. This is a pretty intense part of the castle, it's full of a lot of pain, suffering and a lot of people uh, did die here. So It's extremely cold in here. Ooh. Watch your foot in. You closing the door? Mm-hmm. Should be accidentally locked if something's in here for the night. Oh my God, that would suck. So this place is, uh, we're now locked in. There's actually two doors in here, but it is pitch black in here. It's also very, very cold. Um, I actually feel a draft coming down across my legs. We're gonna go up into through this next door. This looks more of a cell to me. This place is very creepy. Um, this drop down here. There's human skeletal remains and basically the fate of those people was that when they were done with them in the dungeon they would break their bones, throw them down that hole um, for them to slowly die. Uh, some of them resorted to cannibalism to survive a little longer eating the flesh of others or from themselves even it said and there's a front door entry where they used to let dogs in and that's actually how they would feed the dogs here at Chillingham Castle was they would let the dogs feed upon the people that had been thrown down that chute and I mean having your bones broken first and then dropping down there you'd probably break a few more because it's quite a drop. I am about to conduct a spirit box session um, inside the dungeon of Chillingham Castle. Hello, my name is Amy. Is there anyone in this dungeon that wants to communicate? How long were you kept in this room? How long were you kept in this room? I think it is time to try an EVP session in here. It is really still and really quiet. So I think it's a very good opportunity uh, to take some sound recording. Hello, my name is Amy. Is there anybody in this dungeon that wants to talk to me. What brought you to Chillingham Castle? I thought I just send some light in some lights in here. I'm going to try another spirit box in the dungeon of Chillingham Castle. Come and talk to me. I would like to know how you died. How many spirits are in this castle? Let's see. 80? I heard something like that. What are you doing in the dungeon? How long were you locked in this room in the darkness? Could you please tell me your name? Yes. 
Where are you from? What brought you to Chillingham Castle? Are you in pain? Did you eat other humans? Now I'm about to do a spirit box inside Chillingham Castle's dungeon. Hello, my name is Amy. Are there any spirits around that wish to communicate? Stop. Can you come close and tell me your name? Why were you locked in the dungeon here? Who is it that tortured you? I'm about to do an EVP recording in the courtyard of Gillingham Castle, see if we can pick up on anything. This uh, place has had quite a bit of paranormal activity and some really terrible things happen in it, so we'll see how we go. Hello spirits, is there anyone around that wants to talk? I didn't appear to capture much on that, so we might head outside of the castle. There's a couple of paranormal hotspots out there that we could check out. Alright guys, taking a stroll out of Chillingham Castle. I'm walking down the Devil's Walk right now. It's a place where a lot of people were hung and when they were hanged they were just left there to rot so a lot of the bones have fallen on this path and to this day they're still finding human bones human remains here it's actually pitch black check this out there's literally no light here and it's quite creepy apparently oh my gosh I can't even see where the path is. We just walked off the path. Apparently hearing footsteps behind you is a very common occurrence here. I have Jared with me so I can just hear him. I can't even see him. It's way too dark. Um, but we're going to stroll down here see if we feel or sense anything weird. I don't even think I can see the ground in front of me shine that in Jared's face I can see him so you can't see absolutely anything on my camera screen but what's really creepy is it's foggy and then we have bats flying overhead as well can you see these I could just see breath that wasn't mine so guys, I just walking down here. I don't think the camera's picking up, but I have that uh, fog breath that you get when it's really cold. And I swear I just seen another puff of breath come out next to me that I'm sure wasn't mine. So. So I just heard a bang come from out here in the woods. 
Did you hear that second noise? So we're almost to the end, basically at the gate. That took, felt like it was a lot longer at night than it was in the day. It's so creepy. But challenge completed. Let's go back. Alright guys, I've just trekked through the woods of Chillingham Castle and I have found the hanging tree. It is just behind me. I'm about to do a spirit box session here because it is supposed to be a really active paranormal hotspot within Chillingham Castle. Hello, my name is Amy. Is there anyone around that wants to communicate? I've heard a lot of people were executed here. Is that true? so we're not really getting any responses on this one strange thing i have been noticing is and i noticed it on the devil's walk as well is just little pin pricks of red light appearing um on the floor and just now i was kind of getting it in the trees around me and i think it's starting to rain as well so we might head back but i just wanted to tell one quick last little ghost story apparently there was a monastery around here and the nearby stream monks would come down and collect water and they one day some of them noticed some people hanging um, and took pity on them especially since you know a lot of them were stripped naked and hung from their feet upside down to prolong the torture so they came and cut these people down but unfortunately some soldiers saw that happen so they collected the monks and also hung the monks up here to die and they're actually fought to haunt the area as well so um, but yeah we might have to get going or we're gonna get soaked Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to know what you guys think is the most creepiest part of Chillingham Castle. Please pop that in the comments below. I'll be reading them. If you did like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. That way I can keep taking you to these awesome creepy places. If you want to read a little bit more about Chillingham Castle, head to amyscrypt.com. I'll put a blog up there. But remember, until next time, stay spooky.